Here we are in early 2022 and we're back with another update, this time on Energy Star's metal roofing program. That's what we're talking about on today's Q&A Monday. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett, make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. And as I said, we're back with another industry market update. And this time we're talking about Energy Star's metal roofing program. A couple of years ago, we released a video um, explaining how Energy Star was sunsetting or retiring that program. And we're back with another update on where that is right now in 2022 and what we can expect going forward with that. So today to help me out, I have Lori from Sheffield Metals Architectural Department. Lori, thanks for being here. So first of all, let's start for those that don't know what the Energy Star program for metal roofing was um, and kind of what that looked like and a little bit of the history of that. I did a little research um, and I, I found some interesting, interesting stuff. If I can just take a minute and share that. Yeah. What do you think? Sure. Okay. So yes, it was in, in June of 2018, we got the notice from from Energy Star that they would be sunsetting. And the reason, I, I don't know if we if we actually express this, but the reason that they gave was they originally launched in 1999. And the intent was to essentially reward consumers that buy energy efficient roof, cool roofs, and also manufacturers that produce them. You know, it was kind of a cohesive type, let's reward everybody. Um, but what happened, it so took off because they the intent was to grow that market share. It really took off. But surprisingly to Energy Star, the commercial building codes locked right onto it and pushed and revised their codes past what originally the Energy Star was. So that was a good thing. But then they started, they stepped back and looked at the whole program and felt that residential portion of it could be better served by stepping down and going to a regional platform, which, which I've witnessed here in Vermont. It's called Efficiency Vermont. And it is so cool. You literally, it's not just new construction. You can be living in a 1900, you know, Victorian and call them up and they will come and do, you know, the energy audit. They'll, they'll help you how to, how to make your home, you know, without major costs, but all free. So so that was, that was some of the research I found. But also interestingly was Energy Star launched in 1999. Cool Roof Rating Council launched in 1998, as did the first version of LEED. So it was kind of like this perfect storm just cooking away. It was inevitable that this would happen. And, and I have to give Energy Star the credit for knowing when to step back. There were some people apparently... Um, because they had the open comment period um, where people could, you know, stakeholders could say, this is how we feel about it. Some still didn't want to let go. They didn't want to let go of it. But I, I give the Energy Star credit to saying this will be better served, you know, on a regional level. So that was, um, and I found it kind of, I'm glad I really did the research because it was interesting. So Lori, can you tell me what it actually means to have an Energy Star rated roof? Sure. What they do is they evaluate um, all the products submitted by all the um, metal roofing manufacturers. And they've set the standards, usually driven, broken out by, is it a low slope roof or a steep slope roof? Like Sheffield and other manufacturers, we identify that um, for, for our consumers. We show the, the solar reflective index value and the values for steep slope or low slope roof and how we meet them. So when we're talking about SRI values, we're talking about the performance of the paint system that goes on the substrate, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Like I said earlier, we, we did that video about the Energy Star program being sunsetted for, for roofing. Um, where are we at now? Here we are in early 2022. What does that look like right now? We're maintaining our presence at Energy Star until June 1st. And, and as, as a manufacturer that has a presence there, we have certain um, conditions that we have to meet, um, such as we remove the Energy Star label from our literature, um, we stop promoting it on our website, 
And what we're doing is a seamless transition over to the Cool Roof Rating Council. And that our presence there will be online complete by June 1st. And our presence there will show similar to as on Energy Star, you can select by color or by manufacturer and our colors and all our solar reflective data will be there as well. Okay, so if I'm a homeowner or building owner, you know, and I want to have an energy efficient roof, um, will, will this still be able to help me? Absolutely. In fact, we're already seeing designers and builders out there that must have caught on that this um, sunsetting is happening. And now we're being um, asked to provide the cool roof rating council uh, data, which is, which is awesome. People are, people are staying ahead of the curve as far as uh, knowing where to go for this information, the data. So Lori, who is the cool roof rating council that we're now going to be a part of? Um, As I said earlier, the Cool Roof Rating Council was first launched in 1998. And as they say on their website, they are a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to providing a fair and credible means of evaluating and labeling the radiative properties of roof products and exterior wall products as well, um, which which is great for all of us in the metal market because we are moving into both roof and wall. Um, Also a great fit for Sheffield is that the Cool Roof Rating Council has a huge push towards furthering the education of the solar reflective walls and roofs as well, which is, you know, that's our, that's our heart as well. So it'll be a great match. All right, Lori. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate you being here and sharing about the Energy Star update. Um, and the Cool Roof Ratings Council. So uh, as a reminder um, to everyone that June 1st, 2022, um, Sheffield will be moving from the Energy Star website over to the Cool Roof Rating Council website, and that's where you can find the SRI values um, and the application information there as well. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. We'd love to answer them. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.